Holy cow, do you guys see that fire over there? All right, guys, if you guys remember, we just got done busting some people to get them out of the city for a, uh, a huge wildfire. And there is now a state of emergency being called. So King and I are headed back to the city right now as we speak. And I don't know what is about to happen, but we're going to get on down the road. Hopefully that fire can get stopped, man. Hey, King, you hear that? I do. We about to get dispatched? Oh, well, I think we just did, big guy. Whoa. Okay. Oh, well, are we just driving the buses right there? Um, I think we might as well. Uh, <laughs> I'm, I mean, it, it looked like there was quite a few uh, engines already there for us, so we could probably just get the buses into town and uh, go ahead and grab one of those. All right, let's do it. Looks like they got some extra cops out here running traffic control. I think they're trying to funnel everybody out as much as possible now. I think at this point they are. It's it's looking like it's getting awfully close into town it's it looks like it's starting to take on a couple of buildings here too all right so i think there are a couple uh trucks up here that we can we can use right looks like there's two that not being used right there actually two bus yep. trucks holy cow king look at that over there it's in town <laughs> oh man we need to hurry up <laughs> that's that's why we're getting dispatched it's literally in town <laughs> oh no oh we all better right. get we better get suited up and uh you want to hop on that radio and see if you can't get a hold of them for to dispatch we're uh be 1023 at the brush trucks looking for update on fire dispatch to unit four we have an active growing class a fire encroaching on city limits at this time 10 for approaching with brush one and brush two 10 for unit four showing you approaching with brush one and two. Oh, we uh yeah we definitely need to get our gear on like now there should be <laughs> should be gear our turnout gear there on the side i'm gonna go okay. ahead and grab mine out of here i'm ready to go are you yep i'm ready to go i got my protective <laughs> plaid shirt on let's do it <laughs> Let's do this. Oh, I gotta, I gotta play the Where's the Siren game in here. Oh, there we go. All right. So this whole thing is your lead, okay? All right. You're my boss. You tell me where to go, what to do. Oh, come on, Sheriff. I get it. You're trying to block the road, but that makes it difficult for us, too. All right. Looks like there's already a couple out here. Yep. Let's go ahead and uh, we'll kind of sit out here by the tanker truck. Oh, we parked right up on the flames, didn't we? Yeah, it's getting a little hot, baby. <laughs> Ooh, gonna need to turn up the AC. All right, we're gonna go ahead and grab a supply line out of here, and uh, we'll get you hooked up. Just make sure that we're topped off here. Okay. All right, we're all good. Now uh, we'll just we'll use the attack lines on the brush trucks here, but let's just get the uh, supply lines back. Yeah. Off to the side here. I'm sure we're gonna have to refill. Now, uh, once we once we we'll kind of stage up right here, and I think we'll, we might as well just start attacking right here. All right, let's do this. Spray down the truck just a little bit as well, just to keep the uh, heat off the trucks. Okay. There we go. All right, let's let's uh, let's start attacking this thing. This it's is some, hot, baby. It is. <laughs> He's some big old flames out here, dude. It is a, it is a good one. It's a scorcher. Holy cow. I wonder what ended up starting this one. I know it came from that, that kind of farmland off to the, the south of town there. Yeah, it, it had to. Maybe it was a piece of equipment or something. I'm not sure. All right, Jake. I, uh, I think we've got it pushed in pretty well. I suppose we can attack this next section over here. This is actually knocking down pretty quick. It's not too bad. I'm really worried about this building. This building stores a lot of dried grain. Kind of why I'm hoping anyways, if we can get the exterior fires kind of put out around it, so then we can move in and just make sure that the fire is out before it approaches the dry grain bins too much here. Right. All right. I've uh, I've run out of hose here, so I'm going to have to move my truck now. Woo! It is hot. What is the, uh, what's the melting point of steel? I don't steel think this fire should be able to melt this, right? Steel is pretty high. Steel okay. is pretty high. Yeah, you know, it's going to take quite a lot to melt steel. <laughs> All right, looks like we uh, we got a majority of this out here, at least on this side of the bins. We should probably move up on the right side there. We've almost got it out of town, at least in this portion, but I think it's actually... Oh, it is. On the left-hand side there, it's, it's pushing farther up. We should probably get on the radio here, too. I'm, I'm sure they already have, but we should probably just verify here as we're approaching that they have indeed killed electrical power as well to these plants. Okay. Yeah, we can, you want to hop on radio there and get that. Unit 4, dispatch. Unit 4, go ahead with your traffic. We're going to be requesting electrical power being killed to all the plants in the area here during the active structure fire. Just want verification on that. Copy that. Stand by for verification. Dispatch Unit 4. Unit 4, go for it. Unit 4, 
Uh, verification of electrical power ceased. Confirmed. 10-4. All right, Jake. It looks like we do have electrical power killed to these buildings, so that's definitely going to help us out here and fighting this. This area here isn't actually looking all too bad. Back there, ew, those trees are real bad. That looks terrible back there. <laughs> those trees are really bad. We need to get pushed back there. Also, not a whole lot straggling off on the right side there, on the west. I think we can actually kill that and kind of wrap it around. Because I'm not seeing uh, fire connecting between the trees and what's on the west there too much. It'd probably be best if we do stick together. We seem to be uh, killing this pretty hard. We'll get this yeah. section wrapped up here, and then uh, I agree. Let's let's hop over there and kill that before it grows anymore, and then we're going to have to just attack the back there head on. All right, we got this section taken care of, Jake. I don't. What do you think? Should we just push straight ahead, or should we wrap um, back around and, and hit that right side? Here's what I'm thinking. Let's put right on ahead. This is going to be the fastest way there. We're going to cut off the fire on the left to the fire on the right. Then we're going to attack that right side, get that cleared off, and essentially create a barrier for that fire to cross. Oh, no. Oh, no, boss. Come back. Come back. Give me stuck? a... Yeah, I'm stuck. Give me, uh -oh. a, give me a little love tap. I think I got the brush bar. We don't need that thing to be fixed or repaired today. Uh, these darn Fords, they like to get stuck, don't they? <laughs> oh, oh, no. no. <laughs> Oh, you get okay, okay, all right. We're good, we're good. Let's let's fight this freaking fire already, man. <laughs> I'll tell you what, I should have brought a pan of cookies out here or my lunch or something. I could have had it cooked. All right, I'm just trying to wet this grass as much as possible and separate this fire off. Yeah, there's uh there's some areas here where the the foliage is a lot thicker. I'm really trying to douse that. All right, boss, we've got this cut all the way down. We got the trees done. Uh, we're down pretty much almost to the roadway there. I know we've got a unit hitting it from the south side of the highway, and I think the uh, the Pierce unit actually moved up and is assisting us now, so we're all cornering it here on this side. Hold on. Did you hear your pager go off? Unit 4 dispatch. Unit 4, your message. Can I get a 10-9 on that last? Copy that, Unit 4. We have reports coming in that there is a vehicle entrapment on the highway just to your east. 10 for radio. Unifor is going to be pushing in towards that. All right, Jake. So things just got extremely intense. We need to try and push as hard as we can and safely knock out this fire and, and work in there somewhere in the flames. We have an, uh, somebody's entrapped inside of a vehicle. <laughs> oh, that, that accelerates the timetable. All right. We really got to get rolling. We got to be careful about this. Unifor dispatch. Unifor, go ahead. As we are approaching, can we get any more description on the vehicle entrapment on ice? Do we actually have somebody stuck inside of the vehicle? 10 for the unit on the south side, the tanker unit, has eyes on a blue and color Dodge Hellcat. No confirmation on number of persons inside the vehicle. Turn There's one thing that could have burned in this whole deal. I guess it would have been the sunflowers. I can't see what I'm doing. You know, this might be a bad time to say this, but I uh, I actually have botanophobia, so this is this is not a fun time. <laughs> this is probably the worst time to tell me that, Jake. Um, <laughs> I'm seconds from wigging out. I'm holding it together, though. But trust almost me, the sooner I get out of this, the, the, the better for everyone. Almost killed you, dude. <laughs> There's a reason I never walk out into the field in any of my videos, if you've ever noticed. Mm-hmm. I never walk out in the field. I drive out in the field for that exact reason. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Jake, we're, we're pushing up on it. I, I don't know. I think I can see the car from here. I think we're almost there. Yeah, I can see the car. I can confirm. It's a blue in color Dodge Hellcat. I cannot at this time see anybody inside. The windows are tinted. All right, Jake, we pushed up to the car. You you want to keep flames off? And yeah, I'll go ahead and... Yeah, I'm going to take your uh, your truck here. Excuse me, is there anyone inside? Hey, is that car hot? It's hot, baby. You might want to spray this thing down. All right. Yep, we definitely got a couple entrapped here. I think I'll radio in. Unifor, dispatch. Unifor, your message. We're going to need the ambulance to push in on our location. We do have confirmation on the outcat. We have two entrapped inside of here. I'm thinking we can get both of them in the one ambulance safely. Get them out. Copy that, Unifor. We'll be uh, sending the medical units in route to your location now. 10 four. All right, while you're helping those guys out, I'm going to water down this other piece of equipment here. You need help getting these guys in here? Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna have to we're gonna have to move on this. All right, so uh, we'll just kind of follow the EMS's uh, directions here, but we're gonna definitely need the stretcher, and uh, we're gonna want to make sure that we now we we're gonna have to very very slowly and carefully move them out. There we go. They're taking off. All right, we're gonna have to 
continue fighting this here. <laughs> I think we have got the fire out. At least our job is done. It's up to the boys who actually, you know, do this full time to to stay here and watch it and make sure it doesn't spark. Yeah, they're definitely gonna be ripping through here for hours and uh, just making sure everything is completely soaked through and make sure nothing starts back up. I don't know about you, but I, I'm exhausted, man. I am too. I let's let's call it. Let's go get Let's our buses it. back and go to bed. Holy cow, guys. We fought that fire through the night. Whew, it is the next day. I've... Oh, what are these guys park... Nice, bro. Nice. These guys, like, parked their trucks like it's an early 2000s boy band. What? Firefighters. Y'all... Y'all not... <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> and with that... I say have a good one, guys. It's too early, too early in the morning for me to care about anything else. I'm out of here. My lights are off. I'm leaving. See y'all later. Peace. Can you picture me in the darkness? Kissing, touching.